What's up you guys welcome back to another vlog as i always say this vlog is going to be very different um i'm going to tell you guys why i literally just woke up about 30 minutes ago 30 minutes to an hour ago and today i have a photo shoot in soho london with a modeling agency and i've been trying to soak it in like oh my gosh like this is really happening um so I'm just packing up like the last few things in my bag I know I'm looking really crusty my face is so dry I'm breaking out all that but I'm just really trying to soak it all in right now I'm about to get ready to go in about 30 minutes I seem like I don't have any words right now I just probably sound like so sketchy and like so like not put together but it's just I'm really trying to milk the moment I have never in my life modeled for an agency before. Even this is kind of like an audition, kind of like an audition modeling thing. You know, they probably want to see like versatility. They probably want to see like long and then like my natural hair may do for some. So I brought some wigs just in case, shower caps so I don't ruin my hair because I, like I said, just got it pressed out. But yeah. I'm just really, I don't know how to feel. I'm just really like overwhelmed. Like, I'm from a small town, like a super, super small town in Georgia. And now I'm in the United Kingdom. And now I have a photo shoot in Soho, London. This is really big. Even if I don't, like, even if I don't make it or don't make the audition, it's just the, the fact like, that I really just had this opportunity. Like I really just modeled for it ages. Don't take yourself as a joke. And I'm realizing that like these past two days, past week, two weeks that I've known about this, I realized that don't take yourself as a joke. Take yourself serious. Cause if you take yourself as a joke, you literally will not progress. Just, you, you won't even get anywhere sis, okay? All packed up. I got this big suitcase holding like I decided to switch it up and then put like a big like curly like luxurious type of wig in there because I feel like it's just so good to have options like I said I got a straight long wig and I was gonna bring a bob wig but I was like no like uh -uh. I'm gonna bring this curly wig because that's really different I don't really see anybody <laughs> bringing wigs or doing that so and then I'm gonna also tote my bag I got from the LMA tour I'm out of breath, like I'm in here like struggling for hours long. I've never been to a photo shoot that was like four hours long before in my life. So, cause usually when I go to photo shoots, it's like I'm the only person. So it's never that long. You guys, I'm at the gas station. We're getting breakfast. We already got the tank filled. We're about to go to the train station. And then from the train station, we'll be taking a train into London, to Soho, where the photo shoot will be. It still has not hit me that what I'm about to do, like, it has not hit me at all. It just feels like I just got all this luggage. It feels like I'm just traveling, you know? So hopefully it doesn't hit me in a bad way, but I do suffer from anxiety and I do get anxiety. Um, not as bad, but I do suffer from anxiety. I didn't go to bed until 12 a.m. I had to stay up. I had to near my legs. I had to do all that jazz. And I'm really tired right now. Like, I'm so tired. So, I got some Red Bulls. I really love Red Bull, but I try not to drink it that much.
what was going on because I wasn't actually like talking black and I was just like oh let me just show this show when we first got there we went into this little waiting room and then they brought me a bunch of papers which y'all are gonna see that probably before you even see this they brought me like some papers to sign to go over and they also told me that my friends couldn't be in there they would have to leave while I'm doing the shoot and then they would be able to come back towards the end for like the final assessment so I was like, okay, whatever. At the end of the day, I know like if it's if I'm serious about it, it is a professional business. I can't get mad about that. I have to respect that. I mean, that is just being professional. They took me back, and then I went to do. I went straight into makeup. I gave them my bags, y'all. I packed my bags. I had seven outfits in my bag. This ended up being the hairstylist, right? So when I first seen her, I was like, okay, maybe she knows like what she's doing. Um, I told y'all they had my bags, so I thought maybe they got like my foundation out because I had my eyes closed the entire time she was doing my makeup. So she did my makeup and she was like, yeah, for this first look, it's going to be like a simple beat. And then they were like, oh, you're just going to wear the clothes that you came in here with. So when I looked in the mirror to like look at my makeup, y'all, I was 10 times darker and I was like, what? Because ultimately my body, like my neck, my neck is really dark compared to um, like the rest of my body, but my face is a little bit lighter. I don't know if it like comes off on camera that way, but I'm a little bit lighter than like the rest of my body. So that's why I brought my own foundation, my own stuff. First shoot was in my clothes. So I was really comfortable, you know, like in there, like, you know, getting it. So for when I came out, to put on my second outfit i noticed they took all the clothes out of my bag and i had everything like folded together how i wanted it styled because i didn't feel like i needed a stylist to style my clothes like i could understand if they were providing the clothes but i literally provided outfits and styled it how i wanted to style it but when i came out i noticed everything was mismatched they were like oh well we restyled your clothes for you we think you know you should do this do that so i was again i did not complain i said okay and keep in mind i could not have my phone out any of the time like someone was on their phone and they were like oh you can't be here on your phone you have to step outside to get on your phone so i couldn't vlog i couldn't do nothing like i couldn't even take pictures because i wanted to do clips i couldn't even do that it's like giving me like really good feedback like saying like oh my gosh like you're a natural you're doing so good like he's just giving me like Oh, like, yeah, this is amazing. I don't even need that many shots. You're doing great. You're doing great. So he's telling me, like, how great I'm doing. So I'm like, okay, he's, like, so excited. So I'm, like, taking his word for it because he is the photographer, right? So I'm going to my third outfit, which was a spring outfit. I probably should have brought it over here and just hold it up for you. I made it a winter outfit. They gave me um, a leather jacket to go with it, and they paired my heels with it, like my stiletto heels. And I was, again... I did not complain. Okay. So I went outside and my hair, how was my hair at this point? She gave me a side part. She didn't do anything to it. She just parted it to the side and just combed it over. And then she gave me a white, like a big white flower. Again, I know I'm, this is, it's modeling. So I can't be here like, oh my gosh, that flower doesn't match, you know, whatever. I did not complain. I went out there, it was in the street in front of so many people and I got on these six inch heels, the little heels that I did not plan on going outside. I did not complain, I was outside, everybody was watching like, oh my gosh, like what is she doing, who is she? Why is she trying to take pictures? Literally, everybody was looking at me. But y'all, I was out there, I was killing it. The photographer had me like on people's cars, like freaking on the wall, on the ground, in the world, doing all types of, all types of stuff. Again, he was like, oh, you are killing it, y'all. I swear to you. I want to take pictures. I really love to take pictures. That's one thing about me. So we would shoot. He had a timer on, but he was like, he did that with everybody. So I'm like, okay, like, no problem here. Look, it was, I had this tube dress, but it was like a sweater dress. It was super pretty. It was like a burnt, burnt orange color. And I had like my booties, like my boot heels. And she was like, oh, I want to change your hair up. Can you do your long wig with this one? So I'm like, okay. 
Y'all, I have never in my life did the shower cap and did, did a stocking cap for a wig. But y'all, I was in there like I was a freaking hairdresser. Like I just knew what I was doing. And I laid my wig in five minutes. As soon as I like tied it down so it got to be glue could be tacky, I went and it's time. My turn to make a bit. So it gave me this bright, bright, bright orange lipstick that did not go with my skin whatsoever. Did not match anything that I had on. It was like a super bright orange. It was just too much orange. Because I told you all my dress was like a burnt orange. So, oh, and oh my gosh, and my eyeshadow, y'all. It was horrendous. It was like orange with like, like she was like freestyling with like green, like lines. Like it was supposed to be like a cut crease design. It was trash i'm gonna just be honest it was trash again i do not complain out here in front of all these people everybody looking at me i got on this bright lipstick that don't match me whatsoever my eyeshadow is not popping my makeup is i told y'all my makeup she had it so like the foundation was just so dark it was not me it really was not me but I did not let that defeat me. I was still out there. I was serving. He was still complimenting, like, you're doing great. So I did not complain whatsoever throughout any parts of the photo shoot at all. And she didn't style the wig. Like, I literally laid the wig and it was like, okay, go. And meanwhile, the wig was packed in my today. So y'all could imagine how the wig was looking. So that's like, that tells you whether or not, like, you were successful in your photo shoot. Um, to be able to work with like brands and stuff. He came up to me and he introduced himself and stuff. Then he noticed like, y'all know I wear a retainer because I have like, I got permanent teeth pulled that I don't like that I'm really uh, self-conscious about and they show, they show at times. And um, I also have like gaps that I'm just not really comfortable with showing. I'm trying to get all that fixed while I'm in the military like ASAP, like right now, as of now, as we speak. But, um, so yeah, I wore my retainer because I didn't know, like, I wanted to be, it makes me feel more comf comfortable. I noticed it. He was like, oh, you have the plastic things on your teeth. And I was like, a retainer? Yeah. And he asked me about it. He was like, he always wanted to get one. So the entire time at the photo shoot, y'all, he would walk by and he would, like, look at me. And I'm like, I don't know what the look was, but it was just, like, always just, like, consciously, like, looking at me, looking at me. So... I didn't feel uncomfortable or anything. I was just like in my head, I'm like, why is like every time we walk by, he's like look glancing over at me. Like I'm not really sure. So for the last look, I noticed they put a pair of shoes that they had. They did not ask for my size. They just grabbed a pair of shoes that they had like laying around, and they put it with my dress. They were so big, I could not even buckle them on my ankle. It was like falling off. They were flapping off. I couldn't even walk in the dressing room because the shoes were just so big. They probably were like a size nine wide. And I'm like, I wear like a seven. I didn't have to blame. And they even asked like, are you comfortable in the shoes? I was like, yeah, they're a little big, but they're fine. Like I can make it work, you're fine. Um, yeah, y'all are gonna be on break and then we're gonna call you back maybe in about two hours. At this point, it's like, maybe like almost eight okay about just like sitting in your wedding area and he was like oh well it's gonna be too long for you to even do that because there's like two people before you and i just released them on break so it wouldn't make sense for me to tell you that um you can sit i mean you can but you're gonna be in there for a while and i'm like i'm gonna tell he didn't want me in there y'all <laughs> he did not want me in there so i was like okay like i'll leave so i had a big like luggage and he was like, oh, you can just leave it here. At that point, I didn't, I really didn't trust them. I didn't trust leaving my luggage there. Stop. And then after that, that's when my friends went back up with me. I told him how it was. Y'all, I literally sat in wings and washed that makeup off my face at the table. And did. Like, he came out and he was like, um, how many people did you bring with you? And I'm like, it was... First of all, it was very rude how he asked. He comes in there and he's like, oh, the wait is going to be probably about another hour and a half because, like I said, I still haven't started. But you're welcome to wait if you want. You don't have to, though. And I thought that was a test. Like, you know, you can't, I just can't get up and leave. I, I literally waited for two hours. I'm back. And you're telling me I have to wait for another hour and a half? 
It's me like a paper, like another paper. It's like a feedback survey to fill out. And I'm like filling it out. Then it's questions like, um, how was the makeup artist? How was the assessor, which was him? How was like um, the grader, the hairstylist, the experience, the photographers? Did I feel rushed? And I'm trying to be, instead of being 100% truthful, I was just trying to be nice. So, uh, I'm going to be honest, I was putting like, the makeup artist, I put she was average. I could have put needs more work, but I put average. Everything else, I was just circling good. It wasn't a great experience, honestly. I could have been, I could have put like a bad experience, needs improvement. So, I filled that out and he's like, oh, give me three reasons why I should pick you on the paper. So, I'm like, I'm back and he's like, um... Oh, I just reviewed your pictures before before calling you in and unfortunately there's and after he said unfortunately I already knew it was gonna be some BS a minimum of you needed thirty five pictures to get like to be considered to be one of the models and you only had twenty six pictures taken today and I'm like in my head I'm like you sound so dumb like really get the hell out of my face right now. At that point I was like, let's just get our stuff, let's leave. And I, I literally stood up, got my bag while he was talking. I tried to keep it professional, as professional as I could, but he just kept wanting to talk and wanting to joke and like it was just, everything was okay. And another problem that I had, and I'm like, why did you literally look at my pictures before calling me in instead of looking at the pictures before you caught us on break? Isn't that why? We would have been on break. Sad. I wasn't happy. I wasn't glad. I was just like, this just wasted my entire day in London. Like I could have did other sh other stuff. So he was like, can I still see your feedback though? And I was like, no, I don't think it matters. And I ripped the paper up, like right there, and said, thank you. We got my, I got all my stuff. They got their stuff, and we literally walked out. And he Yeah, the last time that I was actually like on this part of the vlog was like a few days ago, maybe like Sunday. But a lot has changed since Sunday. So the last part y'all saw was me basically telling y'all how like that company like completely wasted my time and he told me like, yeah, you didn't qualify, blah, blah, blah. So I started getting emails on Monday. I was off on Monday because of the holiday, but I was just started getting like random emails while I was out about and i was like what the heck like why are these people still sending me emails they clearly told me i didn't even qualify so something is like you know what like read the email and actually see it again basically like i'm just gonna summarize because i don't want to give out too much information but at the end of the email it was like again just wanted to say a huge well done i'm passing your test shoot honestly you did amazing well done from the same person, the same manager that told me like I did not qualify people, you know, which I really appreciate that. Then I got another email, progress support, y'all. When I tell y'all, when it comes to this modeling stuff and taking pictures, like I'm so serious, like I'm not even, I would not even be as about it. Like when I told y'all that I really felt like I did amazing, I felt like I killed it, I was not shy, I was not scared, so I knew that was being just scrolling down. Was the model confident on location? After re after y'all, after re-evaluating the model's images, it's incredibly impressive how many usable shots are from the location shoot. In fact, there are even a few that could be used in the industry immediately. In my professional opinion, the location shots are the best images that from this model's test shoot as this model has no previous modeling experience. And by that, he's talking about professional. The fact that the model's most successful images came from the location shoot is extremely impressive. Y'all, when I told y'all, I was so confident that I really did kill it. I was